Jerusalem. Then and now. Welcome to Jerusalem, one of the oldest and most relevant cities in the world. Trel, a country in the Middle East located on the border with Jordan and Egypt. Jerusalem was also the most notable city of ancient Israel, but more about that later. Today, Jerusalem has a population of around 800,000. The city is built on a series of hills. These hilltop views make Jerusalem one of the most scenic cities on earth. It is uniquely located where three continents meet, Europe, Asia, and Africa. More importantly, it is also a holy and sacred city for three of the world's largest religions, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. For Jews, it is the site of the Temple Mount, the most important and relevant site for the Jewish religion. It is the holiest of any and all holy places. For Muslims, it is the third most sacred city behind Mecca and Medina. For Christians, it is most relevant as the place of Jesus' crucifixion, death and resurrection. Each of these faiths over time has ruled Jerusalem. The conflict is ongoing even today. In order to understand the passion and importance surrounding the city of Jerusalem, we must look back in time. The common thread that links all three religions is Abraham. He is the father of monotheism, or the worship of a single God. Abraham is also considered the founding father of all three religions. Fast forward a thousand years and we find one of Abraham's successors named David. This is the same David that conquered the giant named Goliath, a story we have all heard about. David fought many battles and eventually established this land as the nation of Israel. With Jerusalem as its capital city and he is its king. For these reasons, we often hear Jerusalem called the city of David. Part of King David's vision was an elaborate temple that would enshrine the most valuable artifact in the Jewish religion, the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark was a golden chest housing the tablets engraved with the Ten Commandments that were handed down to Moses centuries earlier. The temple became the focus of Jewish religious life. Its crowning glory was the chamber housing the Ark of the Covenant, known as the Holy of Holies. 400 years later, the Babylonians destroyed the temple in one of the many battles fought in this city. From that point on, the priceless treasure known as the Ark of the Covenant has been lost to time. Only one part of his temple remained standing, the Western Wall. This wall has now become sacred to Jews and is the destination for many pilgrimages. The city is divided into two sections, East Jerusalem and West Jerusalem. They are about as different from each other as they possibly can be. Generally speaking, East Jerusalem is traditional and West Jerusalem is modern. East Jerusalem has open-air markets and craftspeople in tiny workshops making pottery, baskets, jewelry and leather goods. The streets are very narrow, making it difficult to impossible to drive there. Instead, donkeys and camels carry people and packages just as they have for thousands of years. East Jerusalem is also where we find the old city. For many hundreds of years, this was the city of Jerusalem. The old city is not very big and you can walk around it in about an hour. It is also a walled city. This fortification has helped to defend it for thousands of years against one invading army after another. The old city has four distinct quarters, the Jewish, Muslim, Christian, and Armenian quarters. Leading into the Muslim quarter is the remarkable Damascus Gate. Arabs in the area often use this gate as a meeting spot. The heart of the old city is the Temple Mount, once known as Mount Moriah. Eight stone staircases rise to its top. 
Here we see the buildings and places that have been fought over for thousands of years. The Temple Mount is the most sacred place within a sacred city. West Jerusalem is a modern city with a Middle Eastern flair. Not far away is the Israel Museum, a showcase for Israeli art and history. The showpiece of the museum is a collection of the Dead Sea Scrolls, housed in the Shrine of the Book. These delicate parchment scrolls are ancient copies of the text from the Bible and are one of the most important archaeological finds of the 20th century. Jerusalem's importance in world history is impossible to exaggerate, as few other cities have been so important to so many. Regardless of your faith, it would be almost impossible to remain untouched by the power, beauty, and wonder that is Jerusalem. Shalom.